This is a Christmas none of us expected. And the ironic thing about that is the first Christmas wasn't anything anyone expected either. The very nature of Christmas is a stunning surprise. Remember, the story of Christmas doesn't start in a manger. It starts in a garden. God created us to partner with him and reflect him in the beautiful world he created. But our arrogant rebellion and prideful insistence to rule ourselves on our own terms has left this world groaning and broken. God had every right to keep his distance and let us wrestle with our depravity alone. But God's actual response to us still remains a stunning surprise. Instead of responding with condemnation, guilt trips, or silence, his response would be intervention and rescue. He would do in grace what the law could never do. He would do in grace what we could never do for ourselves. He would do what philosophers could never conceive, what leaders could never strategize, and what poets could never imagine. He would offer the only thing that would ever address the need and solve the problem. He himself would become the greatest, most costly, most transformational gift ever. God would take on human flesh and invade his sin-broken world with his wisdom, power, glory, and grace. But he wouldn't descend to a palace. No, instead, the Lord Almighty, the Creator, the Sovereign King over all things would humble Himself and take on the form of a servant. Formed from a Latin word meaning coming or arrival, Advent is the traditional celebration of the tension that we find ourselves in between Jesus' first coming to a manger in humility and also His second coming when He arrives in glory. This season is a time for remembering and rejoicing, for watching and waiting. It's about deconstructing and denying the individualism and consumerism that our culture so easily attaches to Christmas. It's about stepping into the shoes of the Israelites, longing and crying out for the Messiah to come. It's about reflecting on our sin and shortcomings and our need for a savior. It's about looking around at our broken world and hoping for the second coming of Jesus when he makes all things right. And once we get to Christmas Day, the celebration of Jesus' birth becomes that much more spectacular and meaningful. Advent is a journey, and like any journey worth taking, it is best taken with others. We do not journey in isolation, but as the family of God, filled with hope and anticipation. So this Advent, you are not alone. You are joined by fellow brothers and sisters in Christ through the generations and across the globe who are contemplating the stunning mystery of Christmas. For Advent, families or roommates or individuals will gather together each week, light a candle, and reflect on the themes of hope, love, joy, and peace. All the things that Jesus has come to offer us and all the things that Jesus has come to offer the world through us. His coming stands as an affirmation that he will not relent. He will not be satisfied until sin and suffering are no more and we are like him, dwelling with him in unity, peace, hope, joy, and love forever.